story. A vigil on the night marking four weeks since 36-year-old Miguel Peñalosa was shot and killed. He was trying to stop two men from stealing beer at the Glassell Park Rite Aid where he worked for years. He was an amazing person. His family and friends are upset the store reopened last week. They say Peñalosa himself reported concerns over safety. He had given his notice to quit the store for that reason just days before he was killed. He was concerned for his safety. There was a reason why he didn't want to work here anymore. LAPD arrested one suspect, Anthony Lemus, the accused gunman, after releasing these security photos from inside the store. Rite Aid tells us during the few weeks the store was closed after the murder, it worked with police to help in the investigation. A corporate spokesman says the company respects the family's concerns, going on to say, after keeping the store closed for a period of time to aid in the police investigation and review our security measures, we felt a duty to the community as a provider of vital health services like vaccinations and prescriptions to reopen the Glassell Park location. Rite Aid also says it updated the security camera system and added a security guard, something Peñalosa had been asking for. Why not before? Why did it have to take a tragedy for them to take action, for them to protect their employees? A tragic loss of life over some beer. Peñalosa had been working to support his family. They and many in this community are now heartbroken. LAPD is still looking for the second suspect, but the man accused of pulling the trigger will be arraigned on August 26th on a charge of murder and another charge for robbery. In Glassell Park, Rick Montanez, KCAL 9 News. And breaking news tonight in the fight against the pandemic. Tonight, the 